Hello there, thank you for choosing Oxide Hosting. Within this video, we aim to demonstrate how you can connect your virtual server, VPS, via both SSH and SFTP. In this circumstance, we'll be basing this demonstration using a local Windows machine, but the following information may be transferred to other operating systems with minor adjustments in certain circumstances. In order to connect your server via SSH, you will require an SSH client. We recommend PuTTY for Windows, however you can use the built-in command prompt within Windows, or Terminal for Mac and Linux. Please note this demonstration does not apply to these SSH clients. You can find a link to download the PuTTY SSH client within the description of this video, or via our welcome email when you purchase your service. We advise you have this email open anyway as you require certain information from this. Firstly, begin by selecting the session option at the top left of your PuTTY client, then copy your server's IPv4 address from the welcome email into the hostname IP address field. You can leave the port as currently displayed, 22, or adjust such if required if you've amended this. Then click open and a new window will be displayed. Once a new window is being displayed, you will need to enter your server's username. By default, this is root. If you're unsure, opt for this. You may change this for improved security, but we won't demonstrate this in this video. You'll next need your password. The password will be found in your welcome email unless changed. Simply copy and paste such in. Please note that to paste into your PuTTY SSH client, you need to use the right-click mouse button rather than CTRL-V. You will not see any text, but this is to be expected. The actual input would have been registered. Then click Enter on your keyboard. You can now enter all the commands you wish to. Please see our knowledge base for further articles on updating your server, for example. In order to connect to your server via SFTP, you will require an SFTP client. We recommend WinSCP for Windows, however you can make use of FileZilla on both Windows, Linux and macOS. We'll demonstrate both clients in this video, one followed by the other. You can find all the relevant links to download in both SFTP clients within the description of this video. Once again, we advise you have your welcome email available to hand, as you'll require certain information from this. Firstly, in the case of WinSCP, begin by selecting the New Site option at the top left of your client. Then copy your server's IPv4 address from the welcome email into the hostname field, leaving the file protocol as SFTP. You can leave the port as currently displayed, 22, adjust it if required though. You will then need to enter your server's username. By default, this is root. Again, if you're unsure, simply opt for this, followed by your server's password as well. If you wish to save this configuration, click Save, then provide it a label. This is so you can recognize such. You can now drag your files from your local machine, located on the left side, to the right side, which is your server. You can also drag from your desktop to the right side window to upload to your server. You can also edit these files remotely and automatically upload any changes via editing the file by right-clicking, then clicking Edit. Firstly, in the case of FileZilla, begin by copying your server's IPv4 address from the welcome email into the host field. In this case, we'll need to specify the protocol. You can do this by entering sftp colon slash slash followed by your server's IPv4 address. You will need to enter a port in this circumstance, as such is not provided by default. This is usually 22, or adjust it if you've amended it. You will need to enter your server's username. Again, by default, this is root. If you're unsure, opt for this. You will now need to enter your server's password. If you wish to save this configuration, you will need to go to Site Manager. This option is at the top left hand corner below the File option. Enter the aforementioned information again, then make sure to click New Site first. Here you can save your connection information, provide such a label so it can be easily recognised. We recommend you always use the Site Manager option if you're regularly connected to the same server. You can now drag your files from the local machine located on the left to the right, which is your server. You can now drag from your desktop also to the right window to upload to your server. Again, like WinSCP, you can also edit these files remotely and automatically upload any changes. Right click on the file, then click edit. That will be all for this video. If you have any further queries or concerns regarding any content demonstrated within this video, please do contact us. We are available to assist you via various support methods and platforms which can be found on our support section on our website, support.oxide.host. Thank you for watching and choosing Oxide Hosting.